At some point, I always try and start my vlogs uh, early in the morning when I get here and kind of give you an idea at least uh, what's coming up in the vlog. And then me mentally, I get an idea what's coming up for our day. Uh, one thing I'm walking out here. Lots starting to get a little empty. Some empty spots are starting to pop up. We've got some sold cars here that haven't shipped yet. It's gonna be kind of hard to sell off an empty shelf, but I've got some ideas. And of course now, as we mentioned on the previous vlog, we can now enter 2018 Corvette orders in. A lot of orders that go in now, a lot of them, most of them, and I'll get into more detail on that in just a little bit, but most of those cars will be built before the plant shutdown in August. Now, in regards to the Carbon 65 Special Edition, we can enter the order, but GM's not giving us any allocation information on that. Uh, that Special Edition car being limited to 650 cars only worldwide, that'll be an allocated car, so we'll have to wait for GM to say, you get this many. Uh, real quick on today's vlog, the exciting thing is, is uh, the weather was permitting and Jeff was able to make it in here and we're going to feature his 2014 Stingray. It doesn't look like a Stingray anymore though. But... You know what, I really appreciate all the mail I've been getting from you folks and all the comments that you post on the videos. Hey, I look at every single comment that you post and for those of you that have been with us for a while or if you're new to the channel, a lot of our viewers are making some good points and got some great feedback. So in the videos, as you scroll down, uh, please take a moment and read their comments. I'd really like to share a lot of that in the viewer mail segment, but my goodness, we've got so much going on. It's hard to fit all that in. And I got a lot of neat, uh, tell us about your Corvette stories, a couple of which we'll share on today's vlog. But if you folks get a chance to check that out, also as you're scrolling down, you're gonna see some other links to previous vlogs that we wanna draw some attention to. There's even a link down there that you can subscribe to the channel so we can get you back over and over again trying to build this sucker up make it bigger make it better and uh, who knows what will happen then i've got some ideas though you know i've got some ideas so in our tell us about your corvette we get an email from a guy named ashton he says hey you can call me dozer consider it done dozer he says i've been researching and digging up material to find a c7 grand sport and z06s because my YouTube searches is what led me to your page. And let me tell you, I love your page. The content is great. Looks like you have a great personality ready to help serve and teach people. That is rare these days. I've been watching at least one vlog a night for the past week. Well, thanks for catching up and being here, man, Dozer. I appreciate that very much. He goes, let me tell you my situation. He goes, I intend to buy a C7 in the fall when I return home from my deployment. I'm currently deployed in the Middle East right now, and I am in the Air Force. I fly a B-52, uh, don't post that. Oops, sorry, I just did. B-52, that's freaking cool, man. He goes, I'm currently fulfilling my dream to serve my country. Dude, that is awesome. I'm a current C4 owner, a 94 convertible with a manual transmission, C5 wheels, and a MagnaFlow exhaust system. She's a looker. Her name is Stacy. He goes, now get this, because he knows that we're in Columbus, Ohio. He goes, get this, my cousin's getting married in October up in Toledo and I'll be at his wedding. I would love to stop by and visit you then at your C7 paradise. He goes, Rick, I look forward to typing and chatting with you soon. Also, I already intend to fly some USA flags for you. Oh, wow, dude. He goes, let me know if you have any special wishes for flags flown for someone or someone that's special to you. I would also love to get a few Corvette flags flown in combat as well. Take care, Dozer. Okay, this is kind of a tell us about your Corvette. It's a viewer mail, which I love to get these, and I love to share them with you here in the vlog. I don't have any pictures to go with it, but it comes from Phil and Elaine here in Ohio. Rick, just a short FYI memo. This past Sunday, Elaine and I took a little trip for lunch in our Corvette. We took our C7Z51 out to Hibbley Hot Dogs, somewhere in West Virginia, he mentions. Phil says, I wish I would have taken a picture of the dash so I had some proof for you. He says, but let me tell you something. He goes, we drove over 300 miles and got 30.7 miles to the gallon in our Stingray. He goes, by the way, I love your vlogs and I watch every one. Does it cost any money to subscribe to the YouTube channel? He says, you wouldn't believe, and actually I would, he goes, all the thumbs up we get in our Corvette. Hey guys, this part of the vlog, I wanna jump in here and share with you just a couple of random Corvette pictures. Some of them kinda of funny, some of them just kinda of cool. Here you go.
Okay, this one comes from Scott and he says, Hi Rick, uh, I've owned my vet for only a year. My love for this car started in the 90s with a C4. I was stationed in Miramar for the US Navy. I lived in a small community in California. Every day, I would drive to work past the Chevy dealership. I would see this dark red metallic coupe with saddle interior. Well, one day, I thought, you know, it's time to take a test drive. So I pulled in with my 1988 Bronco II and found the first salesman. I simply said, I'm here to take a test drive in that car. Oddly enough, he didn't argue. Man, that was over 27 years ago and I remember it like it was yesterday. Fast forward to 2016, my wife and I have raised two beautiful daughters and I've reached a time in our lives where money and career is not the priority. We want to enjoy going into our retirement years, so I suggested, wink, wink, we get a sports car. <laughs> what started it is, I have always ridden road bikes. Well, in 2015, a close friend was killed on his bike when he was struck by a deer. I told my wife I would give up the bike if we could get a convertible. Wow, she jumped all over the idea, he says. In fact, she started looking right away at Sebrings and Miatas, and I just kind of laughed and told her, hey, if we're gonna do this, we're gonna do it right. Page two. I finally found what I was looking for in April of 2016, a 1999 Corvette convertible, magnetic red, tan leather interior. It was perfect. It had higher miles, so the price was right. It has the old wagon wheels on it right now, but I just bought a set of magnesium wheels and I'll be installing those sometime in May of 2017. Well, Rick, if you've gotten this far in the letter, please enjoy the pics, and we have, and we do. Thank you for the vlog, the website, and all you do for the Corvette enthusiasts around the world. It's truly an American sports car on a global stage. You know what, I'm gonna steal that. <laughs> I love it. Here we go again, listen to this, listen to this. You guys come up with some good, powerful, impactful stuff. It's truly an American sports car on a global stage. Scott in California. Awesome dude, thank you so much for telling us about your Corvette. Oh hey, let's give away a couple of t-shirts, how about that? Are you cool for that? All right, cool. Damn. Okay, the first two people, and you do have to be subscribed to the channel to be eligible to win, but the first two people to write in the comments that knows the name of Dozer's Corvette. He named his Corvette. If you know the name of it, just put the name in the in the comment section and you'll win my Rick Corvette Conti YouTube t-shirt. Extra large, you got two of them to the first two people to get that right. Good luck to you and thank you so much for being here, everyone. Jeff and I were just talking and he said his son's promise tonight. So we're in the Corvette. Question would be, is he taking this? He will not. <laughs> <laughs> Way to go, Dad. <laughs> hey, we're back at it again here on the vlog. Welcome everybody. I'm with Jeff, good friend, good customer, and a good crazy Corvetter. And I only say crazy because you take what Chevy's done and then one-upped them on a number of things. Uh, we're showing you this car today, not only to feature it on the vlog, but also it's going to be up for sale. One of you lucky folks out there are gonna get one heck of a car, and Jeff's gonna tell us some of the neat things that he's done to it. So we've got the hood open, so what the heck, let's start there. All Sounds right. good. You guys look at this car real quick as we zoom out. Yeah, it was a regular, yeah, you're thinking, wait a minute, 14, they didn't make a white body. That's right, Jeff has really one up this from the release of the 14 Stingray. So this is essentially a, a CO6 body That's with, right. with a custom hood. And let me get a little closer, because this has uh, some exposed carbon fiber on it, open hood extractor vent, really nice. So did you do some stuff under the hood besides cosmetic? I mean, your under hood liner is beautiful, and actually we featured this in our hood liner vlog. And your fuel rails, this looks beautiful, but mechanically, what did you do underneath here? So we've got uh, 
This was uh, an original Fott supercharger. 650 horsepower, I think that's modest because the tuner says it's about 608 at the wheels. Oh my gosh. Um, so we're in the 700 range, but um, and so I've got dyno sheets on that and everything. And we've got Sweet. Fott headers down there um, and RX catch can, and so this is all done well. We heard it on the way out and the uh, guy saw the little shot on the GoPro and the car sounds fantastic. Another classic exhaust note for you right here on the vlog. Now these are the wheels I alluded to earlier that were again, Ben, I'm gonna send you a bill, bro. But these originally were Ben's at Weapon X. I remember that he'd won an award with these wheels on his car. Oh my gosh. So it's a, uh, these are a two piece set from Pure. Okay. Uh, built specifically for the Z06. It's the only set that exists uh, that are in this particular size. Of oh, 20 wow. inch in the front and okay. 21 inch in the back. The rear wheels are 13 and a half inches wide, so they fit perfectly under there. Um, you know, hit the body line exactly like you'd want them to, but they don't rub anywhere inside the car. When you get into customization, I mean, the bill can rack up real quick, but yeah. you actually did a full body repaint on this car. What was the one thing you said that was unique about this car as far as its paint job and how you would compare it to, to other Corvettes or conversations about Corvette paint jobs? Yeah, so um, first things first, I have special insurance on the paint on this car. Oh, if it goodness. got hit, you couldn't reproduce this paint uh, the way that it's done, except probably by the guy that did it. So, um, so here we have a torch red, DuPont uh, mixture. So it's the exact torch red that's on all the cars coming from the factory. Yes. This is the one in the world probably that doesn't have any orange paint whatsoever. I think we just invented a new term, red glass. <laughs> you, hear, you hear about yep. black glass? This is red glass right here for you guys. That's oh right. my gosh. So there are at least seven coats of clear on top of a couple of coats. Seven coats? Yeah, on the entire vehicle. And then, um, and even the exposed carbon fiber on the top, because in order to perfectly match this paint, even the red uh, spears had to be redone as well. So you can either call that commitment or just simply crazy. But all those things. That's all, the, all those things. <laughs> but that's what this car does to you. <laughs> um, the other thing that it is, is it's super fun on the inside because the stereo's all been redone as well. And so oh, yeah. we've got uh, 6,000 bucks worth of stereo equipment all expertly tuned by uh, Columbus Car Audio. Yeah. Get rid of these guys here real quick so you can see what's going on here. So this is a uh, JL Audio stealth box with two 10-inch subwoofers that fire downwards into this space inside of it. A processor. Holy moly. It's <laughs> taking the sound uh, out of the regular stereo, so you're using the, the factory head, head unit. And then uh, custom um, sound processor here. And then there's a uh, 950 watt um, JL audio amp that sits where the old subwoofer used to be. didn't come with black seats either. You know, I was just gonna say, hey, wait a minute. I order these cars. There's something different about this. I just noticed, yes, with your 3LT red interior, normally you would have had red seats. And then I also was gonna say, well, wait a minute. They didn't even do red stitching on a black seat car in 2014. That's right. Okay, so I'm gonna ask the big question. I mean, I know you spend a ton of dough on this car. How much realistically extra all considered paint job, the modifications of the seats, the hood, the wheels. Um, uh, how much you got in this car after the car purchase? Well, as long as my wife never sees this video, it's, <laughs> question, uh, it's easily $65,000. Okay. Keep that in mind for those of you that inquire. So you've got your base Z51 14 Stingray, and then you've got another 65 grand on top of that. Okay, so with that much money invested into the paint, uh, did you do anything to actually protect the paint besides just a nice wax or something like that? Absolutely. Since I'm a driver, I figured you'd have to do something to protect the paint job yeah. of that quality and that expense, right? Yes, so, yes. Jeff, 
I just want to thank you again before you leave for bringing this car in, sharing it with everybody on the vlog. There's a lot of Corvette fans out there that are going, nom, 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 nom. <laughs> I like that one. Okay, just settle down. You can send me an email, text me later. We'll talk all about it. But I just want to thank you for getting me. I don't know if you saw it or not. Just we're just going to say thanks for getting me back in one piece. Well, I hope you guys had a good time on today's vlog. I had a great time having you here with us. I really appreciate your support. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up like on this particular video or any other videos that you happen to watch on the channel. And also don't forget to subscribe. Uh, being a subscriber also makes you eligible to win some of the prizes that we have here on the vlog. And I told you we were going to be busy. I tried to put as much as I could in today's vlog before we head to Bowling Green, but uh, that's what vet season does. Oh my gosh. And hey, I don't care what year Corvette you have, every Corvette has got a story to tell. So if you have a chance, email us on the email up on the screen right now, a picture or two about your Corvette, something about the purchase, or maybe somewhere special or significant that you've been in your Corvette. We want to share that here on the vlog. We want you to tell us about your Corvette. Well, I'm getting ready to have a great time at the Bowling Green National Corvette Museum Bash event with Chevrolet and all of you cool Corvetters. Now, for those of you that are watching are going like, oh man, I'm bummed. I can't make it. I wish I could go. Hey, don't worry. We're going to take you along with us. We're going to vlog all the way there while we're there. Hey, and just remember, if you're going to stop dreaming and you're going to start driving, well, I want to be your guy. I want to earn your business and I want to be a part of your Corvette family. Thanks for watching, everyone.